Hey everyone, Drew with GeoArm, and I am back to talk to you about the Honeywell Home Pro Series, Pro A7, and Pro A7 Plus panels, and how to get the Honeywell Home Pro Series Pro 6 Mini mini door window sensor, it's encrypted of course, into this panel. Uh, it's, it's not too bad, uh, it's just a matter of opening and closing the device uh, twice. So what I've already done is I've already popped the back plate on this thing and I've popped the little sticker out that, that sits between the actual battery and device itself. Uh, so this is going to be what you would do if that sticker's already been popped out. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the menu mode. And don't forget that you do have to have the firmware update done on this prior to being able to do this. Um, the, this panel has actually been released with a firmware revision that does not allow for local programming. So you will need to get it registered first. We will need to update the firmware in order for you to do this. Once the firmware is updated, you can definitely get this done. It's super easy. So I'm going into programming. 4112 is my code, which is the factory code. I'm going to go ahead and go into programming. Once in a programming, I'm going to go into peripherals. And then I'm going to hit the plus sign up in the top right. At this point, I'm just going to transmit an open and close twice. So open, close, open, close. We give it a few seconds and it should enroll here into the panel. Uh, this is actually one of the cooler learning modes that I've come across because it's super easy to do it by just literally removing the magnet from next to it and then putting it back next to it again. Um, so this should be coming in here now, as you can see. So uh, we'll go ahead and we'll get this program. This is a strictly a wireless device. It doesn't allow for integration of external wired devices. So this is wireless only when you're dealing with the mini. So we're gonna, we can, you know, make this a window. We can make it a door. We can make it a garage door. You can program it as an other if you're using it for something other than those features. Uh, I'm gonna leave this as a door and then you can choose what the response is. So an entry exit one means it's gonna have a slight delay on it before the alarm actually goes off. Uh, that's what I'm gonna set mine to. If you don't want that and you want it to be an instantly triggered device, you would just simply set it as a perimeter. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at entry exit one. That's where I want it because I do want a delay on this. And then you're gonna go over the specs of the actual zone. I do want it to be supervised because if this device goes out, then the, you know, it, it, I, the panel needs to know about it so that way I know about it. Uh, and finally, uh, alarm report. We do want this to report because that means that it's gonna send its signal to our central station whenever there's an issue. So all of those things are good. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna enable my chime to standard. Uh, chime is where it makes a noise whenever it's opened or closed. Um, and at this point it is programmed in. So if you needed to add more sensors, you would choose save and add another. I do not. I'm just gonna choose save because I'm done adding sensors. Uh, you'll see the zone there and you'll see its battery. You'll see its strength connection to the panel. We're gonna go ahead and back all the way out of programming and we'll test this device to make sure it's operational. Okay, let's see what we have here. There we go. I didn't program the zone descriptor on it, but that's how you program this device in there without the descriptor. Uh, you can get the descriptor in there, you can put in front door, back door, whatever you'd like. I did not. Uh, so once again, this device is operational. Okay, open and close. Uh, but that is how you program in the Pro 6 Mini wireless encrypted door window contact into the Honeywell Home Pro Series, Pro A7, or Pro A7 Plus panels. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. But you guys take care and have a great day. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the show more tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.